welcome to Michelle Sews Again. I'm Michelle. It is day four of Vlogmas. So if you're not already following along, I've got a playlist. I'll link it up here. It'll be linked in the cards at the end. Um, but basically I'm just, every day I'm doing a countdown of my top makes that I've made over the last year and a half since I started sewing again. And um, today's favorite, <laughs> I'm counting down to my top three, honestly, because the rest of these could be interchanged. Um, but today I'm actually talking about something that I didn't sew. I knitted it. And it is this Fabulous Abacus Shawl. And that's the name of the pattern is Fabulous Abacus. It's designed by Webster Street Knittery. I'll link the pattern in the description box below. I highly encourage you to go and check out the Fabulous Abacus Shawl hashtag on Instagram and you'll find really beautiful versions of this. And of course, I mean, I mixed some bright colors together because that's how I do. So I've got this multicolor that I used um, in the center um, and every in the in the center, it's mixed between the multicolor on, and on one side it's mixed with the bright green and on the other side it's mixed with the purple. And then the center, the very center is just how this multicolor knits up and I love it so much. Um, but basically, I'll pop a picture in here, um, but basically what it, you do is you knit the solid on one side, then you start mixing the solid with the multi, well, it depends on what colors you pick. I pick two solids and a multicolor. Then you start mixing color A with color B, and then you do color B in the middle, then you start mixing color B with color C, and then you end off with just a solid block of color C. So, um, and the thing that, this was new for me, because normally, my, I've been knitting for 30 plus years, but I've only ever done really simple things. I knit cowls, you know, just things that are straight, don't require you to pay a lot of attention. I've done ponchos, I've done tons of scarves. In the last couple of years, I knit my first beanie hats and I've done a few of those. And of course, that's when I was living in Philly and needed some hats. I don't need them here in Florida. Um, and I really don't need this shawl here in Florida. But I, I had this pattern back when I lived in Philly and it was something that was a challenge for me. So I don't know if you can see those eyelets in the middle. And it runs all the way down the sides. And the fact that it was shaped, you know, it's going from a really small um, and it gets wider and wider until the pinnacle and then it starts decreasing on the other side. But um, I love this, the way that the pattern was presented um, with the triangle in the front and that tassel and then the other colors wrapped around and the tassels hanging just really caught my eye and I knew I had to make it no matter how difficult it was. So I made this actually, I got through the first time I tried it, I got through to about here. So I was almost done, but it was not looking right. My eyelets didn't look right. And I had let it go for a couple of years and I just, it was in a UFO box. And I decided this year in the summer that I wanted to do it and I wanted to do it right. So I literally frogged the whole thing. And in knitting, frogging means that you've unraveled what you've knit. And I just, I frogged the whole thing. I re-wound re -wound the yarn into balls and I started over and um, literally from scratch. And I, <laughs> what I discovered after watching a couple of YouTube videos on yarn overs is that um, reading the description of how to do a yarn over I misinterpreted it and so all of my eyelets were wonky which is why it didn't look right. So then I watched some YouTube videos on how to do yarn overs and it's much more simple than what I was doing and it created these beautiful eyelets. So YouTube to the rescue. Surprise, surprise. Anyway, so this is my favorite make for today's Vlogmas and um, I 
have a new appreciation for shawls and um, it gets cold in my home office and I throw on like a sweater all the time. So I can see me needing some pretty shawls, especially since I'll be on video. So um, I'm definitely gonna start wearing this one. I've got my other one in the works. Um, I just need to finish fixing where I dropped some stitches. The one that I'm making um, with the gorgeous hand spun yarn that Sarah from Naughty Gnome sent to me. I will link her channel in the description box. And um, yeah, so that's it for me today. Um, this is Vlogmas Day 4, favorite make number 4. Um, and I can't wait to show you what tomorrow's all about. So wherever you are, I hope the weather's amazing. I hope you're able to get some sewing in and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.